Hi friends, uh, we are back and I'm so excited for today's episode because we are up for an adventure. Um, we recently went to uh, to a place where recommended by a good friend of mine. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you so much, uh, my friend, for recommending this place. Um, it's really uh, amazing. We loved it. Did you like the place? Hmm? Did you like it? Wow. It's really wow, isn't it? The necklace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you dress up today? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Who did I dress up today? My necklace is always pretty because Lily gave me this. Oh, wow. Thanks for giving me the necklace, Lily. Friends, we are now off to Cradle Moon Lakeside Game Lodge and I'm so excited! Kilami Racetrack. Is it the previous racetrack there? Kilami Racetrack, it's hosted the 1994 Formula One. I believe it's the last Formula One held in South Africa. But please check YouTube <laughs> confirmation. Thanks for the history there. Not at all. Friends, if you can remember in the previous uh, video that we had, we made arts and crafts. And one of those arts and crafts we made is a binocular. So now we are using this, or she, my daughter is using it for a trip. We left 20 past nine and uh, it took us uh, around roughly 30 to 35 to 40 minutes uh, to arrive here in Cradle. This is the start of our five to six kilometer nature walk adventure. And since we have a toddler, we are taking the pink route. By the way, friends, they have four different routes and they have it by color, pink, blue, yellow, and red. We started our walk around 10 a.m. and it's really, really hot. So if you can see, this is the route that we're taking. We have pink, so there's pink, red, and yellow, and we are following the pink route. And uh, you can see there, wow, it's really nice uh, place to walk, especially if it's not that hot, but now it's really, really hot. So this is the pink, uh, we're following the pink route. You can see that pink there and wow giraffes can you see it guys can you see it those are giraffes really really close to us and these are my yep just to give you a little bit history about giraffe friends giraffes are the world's tallest mammals and did you know that giraffes run as fast as, as 35 miles an hour over a short distance and they have three hearts. Yes, they, this mammals has three. Giraffes used to live in most of the open country in the continent of Africa. And did you know, friends, that the male giraffes are called bulls and the female are called cows, while the baby are called calves? So we are now saying bye-bye for now to the giraffes. Um, it's nice to see them. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll see them in the next couple of minutes or half an hour time. Oh wow, these are springbok. These are actually the national uh, animal of uh, South Africa. We are now walking for approximately 20 to 30 minutes and wow, I can see the wall. It's called the dam wall. So let's see what we can find. We are now go getting close to the Franz Richter dam wall. Oh, you can see that. Wow, this is really pretty. Okay, just to give you a little bit um, history about this uh, dam wall. So all the stones used during the constructions 
were found on the site and it is now visible as coves on the sides of the lakes. 50,000 bags of cement were used to keep each hand packed stone in place and these numbers makes the world the largest stone dam on African continent. So this is the biggest, you know, or the largest. And they said that these are really extremely labor intensive. This wall was completed in 2006 and it's frequently used by, by open water swimmers, by flying fishermen. So lots of we stop by the beach area so they have sand um, but it looks like my daughter doesn't like it today since it's too hot uh, my daughter doesn't like the sand in the beach um, or in the lake so basically we continue walking and uh, it's just like five minutes walk and we can see the zebras wow these are beautiful I haven't seen uh, I mean zebra this close like I can almost touch them and uh, just a quick history about zebra. Zebras are African equines with distinctive black and white stripe coats. So we can see that, you know. Um, these zebras, you know that these stripes on the zebras has functions. Oh gosh, they're coming again. And uh, oh guys, you can see that, right? There, there's a herd of zebras there quite a lot oh I feel a bit scared this zebra is looking at me oh they look like whores so we've been walking now for more than an hour and uh, we are so tired we don't have enough water um really really hot today um we, we tried to look for a rhino but we can't find it so we're trying to go back and trying to get into the restaurant so we can have uh, snacks or, or lunch this is really a long walk uh, we've been walking for more than an hour now and my daughter is really exhausted as you can see friends my husband is carrying our toddler so my suggestion if you're going for this adventure please bring a push chair it's really helpful to have a push here, but we failed today. We didn't take any push here today. So we didn't see much animals. Oh, wow, we can see giraffes now. Okay, so we're back to see a giraffe. Oh, it's really tall, isn't it? So we didn't see many animals or a lot of animals when we were walking or we saw zebras and now we're back to see the giraffes, we saw a spring book. Oh gosh, this giraffe is following the lady. Oof. We can see a herd of zebras again. Oh, I think these are the ones that we saw earlier. And one zebra is looking at my husband trying not to move because these zebras can can bite us um, do you know guys that these zebras can actually bite any humans that comes close to them so we're trying not to get close to them trying to stop and they're still looking oh he's getting close I think it's because my husband's wearing stripes today or maybe they he thinks or that zebra's thinking that he's also one of them you know Oof. How's your walk? I'm gonna wash you later. So how's your walk? Okay, do you want some no she wants some sanitizer really. I'm gonna get sanitizer too. So how was your walk? Fine. Fine? Did you walk or daddy carry you? Oh Oh, is it long walk? What did you see? What did you see there? Animals. What, what kind of animals did you see there? I didn't see one. I see the one 
Oh, a lot. Did they walk? Did they walk across you? I really love the view here. As you can see, that is actually the beach part. They call it the beach part or the sand part of the lake, where you can your child can play, you can relax. So this is really a relaxing part of the of the restaurant the restaurant is called current um, not many people today uh, you can see there as well the wall um, of the dam that's a dam wall uh, not many people today because it's weekdays but if you call, come here by weekends I'm sure it's packed so we just finished our lunch and uh, we are now off we are now going back home um, and uh, it's really nice. Hello, friend. Say hello. hello. So we are just waiting for our car. Um, my husband take the car from the other uh, parking space because this area we are not allowed to park here unless you you're a hotel guest. Uh, since this is just a day tour. So the parking lot is different in, in the other area. So it's quite a long walk. So we're here because we've been walking for, since then. Uh, we were here since 10 a.m. And it's now 1. So we went for uh, lunch here for like an hour lunch. So most probably we're walking for like two hours. And if you, can, you guys want to see the place before we go, I'm just going to show you. The, their huts or their uh, like cottages. <laughs> oh, that's mommy's mask, isn't it? And it's really windy here. Eh? As you can see, friends, this is the parking uh, space, and we are waiting here for my husband. Um, I believe that only uh, the hotel guests that stayed overnight can park here. As you can see, there's cottages and the lake. This is the it's really beautiful. Even we're ex even if we're, we're ex exhausted, uh, we are happy because we enjoyed and really amazing place. Ben is coming now, so we are off to go now. We will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching our today's episode, and we hope that uh, we'll see you on our next tips and adventures. So we're going to say for now to our friends, bye for now, friends. <laughs>